Hey, what's up you guys? So today I wanted to talk about the new Rise of Iron stuff leaked in the live stream today. If any of you sat and watched the live stream, then you kind of know what happened. I came in about halfway through the live stream, watched all the way up from the first match down to the end of the live stream, which, I mean, eh. I didn't watch all of it, but I watched some of it to get an idea of what happened. Now, uh, the stuff that I'm going to tell that I know right off the bat, that I'm not sure if anyone knows about yet, if you're a old console user, if you're a PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 user, I suggest you update and save your data on the Bungie website. Now, when I logged in, I didn't get a, I didn't record it because I was in a non-recording screen. Now, when I logged in the today I'm receiving after the live stream, the servers came back. To the patrol the, a, like a little Stay message alert. popped up, popped up on my screen saying, "Hey, if you're a PlayStation 3 and a 360 player, you're gonna want to go to Bungie's website and save all your data before Rise of Iron drops. As soon as it drops, it's gonna like wipe your account if you don't save." It. So. Go save that data, make sure you don't lose anything, it's all the time it took to grind, to get, like if you have the exotic swords, all that time would be lost. So please make sure you go and save your data, fair warning, if you don't, your, your account may be wiped. Uh, so I suggest you do that if you can, while you can. Now, uh, so the other stuff that was leaked was the Destiny Collection Edition. And that was revealed to be an actual thing via the live stream. Now what it basically is, is it's every DLC dropped that Destiny is- every DLC. Just every DLC that Destiny has that's been dropped so far. Including Rise of Iron. Now if you do have an older gen console, and you're looking into updating, you can either- Like, you can either A, save your account through PlayStation- from PlayStation 3 through Bungie, or- Maybe I don't suggest doing this, but wiping your account with PlayStation 3 and upgrading to Xbox One or PS4 and then buying the Legacy Edition or the Collection Edition for $60 to $70, I believe is what they said. You could do that or you could just back up and then upgrade when you get the when you get the console. But um I mean there's a lot of choices out there. Just just, just play it safe. I don't want anyone to lose all their stuff, all their time, because I know how hard it is to grind and get all this really good loot and then just have it gone. Whew. That would be a nightmare right there. So please be sure you heed that warning. If you don't believe me, check that yourself. You can check Bungie's website. I'm pretty sure you it's on there that? somewhere. So um, just, just, just play it safe. Just check anyway. Even if you're a PS4 user, I would check, read it up, see what it's about. But um. It's said PS4 users and Xbox One users can just say safely skip this message, but read through it, make sure there's no anything wrong with like the console or something like that, and uh, let's move on. So some of the other stuff that they released is that there's now gonna be like 1v1, 1v1 people. It's gonna be custom games, private matches, all that kind of, all that great jolly good stuff, and that's I'm. That's one thing that I've been waiting for this entire time, is custom matches. Now, I personally suck at PvP, and use well, custom so. matches to, like, basically train and level and learn how to, how to work properly with friends. So, if you're like me, you kinda suck at PvP, I think custom matches are gonna be amazing. I like to use them, like I said, to train. So, uh, I, I'm just... I'm so excited. When I heard that they had like a little secret they were gonna come out with, Crucible, I was thinking it's either gonna be custom games or like a new game mode or something like that, and um, uh, I'll join you in a minute. And so, or something like that, something to, to really like make PvP worth, like not, not even worth, which is fun. It's exciting to do, you know, something we've never seen before. Lo and behold, it was. It, it's PvP custom matches, PvP custom matches. And they went to detail that you can even customize the, the night, oh, like night or day. You can customize the time of day in these matches when you set them up. And it's unbelievable. You can customize if you want sparrows or pikes. You can customize if you want a light level to actually work against you or work for you. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of detail for it, and it looks amazing. 
Now the live stream did show some kind of suit that new, like, things they had. Uh, it's kind of like, um, what's it called? It's, it's kind of like the Call of Duty mode where you take the charge and put it in the goal and you get points and stuff kind of like that. But, um, for Destiny. So when you kill someone, you pick up their points cards and you get their points. Now if it's a, your, your like, teammate that dies and you pick up their points, Card thing, it'll just stop the enemy team from getting points in general. So you cancel out their ability to get points, which it looks kind of cool, and I'm kind of excited for Supremacy. Now, I'm probably going to test it out a couple rounds with, you know, friends just to see what exactly I can do, and even on the new maps, just to see how the new maps work, see if I like the new maps. Now, um, there were two new maps that they showed off in the uh, live stream. One of them, I believe, was Venus's Garden. Some some sort of garden, Aiden's Garden or something on Venus. It, it looks pretty good. It's a smaller map. It's like a close quarters map. Uh, I, I would probably test it out first with uh, the last word, maybe Universal Remote. See if, like, if it's a good map for shotguns. They did say it was a closer range map versus Icarus, which is the other map they showed off, which is more of a a sniper's map. You want to find all the little nooks and crannies. And I'm looking more, like I'm more excited for the Venus Garden map because I just got the Universal Remote. I've used it a few times. Each time I've used it, I've done pretty okay with it. Now, uh, note I'm not a shotgun fan, and I just found out that there's like, ah, oh, damn, I missed. But there is a thing that Sunsinger Warlocks will do that just kind of piss people off, basically. And it's the Sliding Shotgun Reviving Warlock. Now, I've done that a few times. I'm not gonna lie, I've done it. People hate me for it, they rage. But I will say it is a very, very effective way to play the game. Now, I'm not su suggesting anyone do that because it is very cheeky and it is just very mean. But I, for one, have... I, I love it. I love it. I do it now when I'm able to do it. If not, then, I mean, sh let, let's be honest, I can instant revive. I can revive and throw grenades on people and kill them. So, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to using Universal Remote. And I'm also looking forward for the last word. I love the last word, but I'm not the best at handling it, I, I guess it's called. Handling, controlling. I love it, but I, I, I'm not the best. I'm not the best with, when it comes to accuracy. And I don't have a lot of target acquisition perks on any of my gear, so it's basically just me trying to aim, and I'm not the best at it. I, I love it, but I'm not the best. So when it comes to tar to, the, to the, the, the last word, shoot, tongue twister there. When it comes to the last word, I'm probably going to have to do some test runs with it, see if I can actually use it properly. If not, then hey, I'll probably toss it on someone that I can use it, like my, war my warlock, like my titan. My titan has a higher armor, and if more armor, take more shots, so possibly switch it over to my titan. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> the uh, Icarus map, I believe, is a PlayStation 4 exclusive map. Uh, if that's not right, please correct me. I'm not 100% myself, but it, it looks really cool. I love it. I'm super excited to play on all these maps. I'm super excited for Supremacy, and by the looks of it, they have new skins, like new skins for exotics. I do know that the Mita Multi-Tool, the Xylo, and um, I'm not sure if the Zen has one, but I have a couple of the weapons that have for sure the new kind of skins, which is the Mita Multi-Tool and the Xylo. I don't remember what they look like. I do know that Hawk, the Hawk Moon has a really cool like blood splattered black and silvery blood splattered skin which looks it just it looks amazing there is um a new uh, heavy exotic i can't remember the name it was in the new trailer it has a new skin itself too the new trailer has really cool chroma design looking things that change your helmet color to have like a glowing effect I mean, I highly suggest that anyone look at the trailer and just be in awe. The new trailer that they released at the end of the livestream, that's the updated trailer with all of the new exotic perk, st exotic um, weapon perks with the 
chroma looking stuff on it. It's awesome. Just go look it up. Now they have released that legendaries are also going to get these new chroma looking perks. Look, just awesome. Just overall, just badass. So, Ed, Ed, you just just go look. Just go watch that trailer. It is worth it. And let me think. Uh, I don't remember anything else that was said in the live stream. So let me know in the comments if there was anything else that I missed. Let me know how excited you are for it. Let me know if, if you just hype for it. And um, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, Russian. Bye. The oh. of the Golden Age. Bye.